This video is for demonstration and educational purposes only. This weapon is not for sale, so please do not contact me about buying this weapon. As again, it is not for sale. This is for demonstration and educational purposes only. Today we're going to look at an automatic 365 pistol that was made in the E-Bar, E-I-B-A-R regions of Spain. This one here, I can't get the camera to focus very well. This is my second video, so please excuse me. It says Kaus 365 Automatic Pistol Exclusioners Patent. This patent was basically made to show generals and other armorers the different types of weapons that they could produce. The Exclusioners Patent was actually one of the very first. This gun dates between 1910 and 1912. So with that being said, let's move a little forward. As you can see here on the frame, it has the numbers 271 on it. 2 was actually the serial number, 71 was actually a number stamped on it. And it also has the F for fire, and then when you flip this up, it'll say S for safe, for the safety to be on, which I, don't, I, I would not trust the safety at all, but that is just me. The other thing that makes this weapon a little more unique than typical ones that you find is there's also the serial number two, right here at the bottom of the magazine. And then we will further take the weapon apart, twist the barrel, and it also has the number two right there on the barrel as well. There's one other place that the serial number would be, and that is on the inside of the slide of the gun. Thought I almost cut myself there. And as you can see right there, that also has the serial number of two engraved on it. Let's see if I can get my camera to work a little bit better here. Nope. Nope. So then the safety slides right out. So we will put this back in. Put the rod and the spring in. Put the slide in, lock it, put this in almost upside down. Sometimes it's that these get a little finicky, especially the older ones. Sometimes they get a little tricky. Then we will dry fire. If you know of anybody in the greater Pittsburgh region, like Pittsburgh, Monroeville, Greensburg, that is an armor that wouldn't mind taking a look at this, this gun actually fires, and I would like to take a video of it this summer with it actually in use, but you can see right here that the magazine's a little munged down, and it doesn't keep the rounds in nice and neatly, and the spring in here is so old, you can see where it's uh, actually starting to rust out. So, again, with that being said, this video is for educational and demonstration purposes only. I hope that you found either two um, very pleasurable, and I have a lot more stuff that I would like to show people, uh, older stuff, stuff from the Vietnam era, uh, not weapons, uh, cutlery and things that were brought home by uh, soldiers and given to salesmen and things like that. Uh, I also have an old 1969 Sears Roebuck radio that still works for my grandfather. He used to listen to Polka on it every Sunday, so every Sunday we had to watch Polka with him, which wasn't bad, so... I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, subscribe, like, share, do what you feel like. Uh, I'll try to get to as many comments as possible. Again, I'm not an armorer, nor do I have my FFL. I just like to showcase certain things that I have. So again, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, share, and share, and I will get a lot more videos out to you.